Feeling good is like my top priority because I cannot do anything if I don't feel my best. Hey guys, welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. My name is Priya and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about some things that I've done to just improve my mental health, my overall well-being. Before we get started with the video, I want to thank the sponsor, which is Built Bar. So if you guys have seen my previous videos, these are the protein bars that I've been loving lately. They taste amazing. There's so many different flavors and they only have 150, 130 calories. And yeah, these are delicious. I like to just throw them in my bag. Um, I have one in my bag all the time. It's just an easy snack if I'm running low on energy. I just like, like to take one of these. Have so many different flavors. This is mint brownie. They also have raspberry. They have peanut butter and brownie. Can't eat this because I'm allergic to peanuts. But they also have cookies and cream. This is the one I've been enjoying lately. It's They have 17 grams of protein and they're awesome so if you guys are interested there'll be a link in my bio okay so let's just get straight on into the video so I'm gonna just kind of go throughout my day um, talk to you guys what I do throughout the day so I wake up and I do my morning routine which is so crucial for me if I don't, don't do my morning routine I feel so just not my best self and the key to manifesting whatever you want is feeling your best and the only way to do that is if you're taking care of yourself so i wake up and before i do anything i meditate and i try to meditate for at least 10 minutes and i'll just i think the best way to meditate is just getting out of bed and doing it wherever you have a quiet spot so that's what i like to start my day with and starting your day with that just puts you in such a good mood it instantly calms me down and you're still in that like dream like state so it'll stay in like your subconscious better and it just starts your day to a, a good note um i find if i don't meditate if i start my day with like emails or tending to somebody else i'm just anxious throughout the day and i don't feel my best so i always put my my self-care first before anything and anyone else so i do that and then do my yoga i love yoga yoga has if i know it's kind of hard to get into because it's very slow but once you start getting into it if you just make it a routine or try doing it for um a few consecutive days you will start to feel your body slowly like open up you'll start to feel muscles that you haven't and when you get into that proper headspace it's amazing so i do yoga and for yoga it doesn't have to be long i started doing like like i think the longest videos i would do is like 20 minutes but i do like 10 15 minutes of either yoga with adrian yoga with cassandra is really good yoga with bird and yoga with jessica those are some of my favorites on youtube so yeah they have some really quick videos that you can do and it just stretches you out um releases any tension that you have built up from the night before all of that so i always have to do yoga and if i'm not doing like a full video i'll just stretch out and i'm getting older and i'm starting to feel those aches and pains so it's very needed for me and this past week so last week i was away and I didn't work out or do yoga and when I got back oh my god I was in so much not so much pain but I felt so tight I was sitting in a car a lot so my hips were really tight and I just felt so much built up tension in my like stomach area and the only way that the only thing that helped was yoga so I would do yoga every single day and this is I feel amazing today it's been a few days since I've been back but I don't have that lower back pain and that's another thing when I have pain I am such a baby I like <laughs> I let everyone know I'm like I can't move and it just make, puts me in a bad mood it's it sucks not being able to just move move fluidly and with ease so yoga is crucial for me and yoga is also a workout I mean it's not really it's more for your mind but it is if you're doing like if you're holding poses longer it starts to build your muscle in places that you didn't know you had so since i've been doing yoga for um throughout the pandemic i did it pretty much every day 
Um, when I started to go to the gym this past year, I was able to do the exercises with ease because I've already built up those muscles and because of yoga, it's helped me build, get stronger. So yoga is crucial. And then I drink my tea and I used to drink coffee. I love coffee. I prefer the taste of coffee, but I like the way tea makes me feel. So I start my day with green tea. And I think for some people, green tea, starting your days with green tea might not be good for you. I feel like I have a strong gut, so it's fine for me, but it might not be the best thing. You should just try it out, see how your body is. But for me, I have no issues with drinking green tea. And it just cleanses me. It detoxifies my system. I just feel so much better um, after I drink green tea. And green tea doesn't give you that crash that coffee does. So I start my mornings with green tea. And then I'll go to the gym and still try to get into the gym. I used to do just like 10 minute workouts at home. So I'm trying to get into a gym routine and I do like going to the gym. I feel amazing after I do it, but it's just kind of intimidating, I think, because um, I don't really, I'm not, I'm not a gym rat. I don't know how to do certain things. So still trying to find a routine for that, but I have to move my body in the mornings because it just sets my day off really well. And then... I'll do my work, my emails, and, and then I'll have lunch. And I always, I try to eat healthy throughout the week. And I'll snack a little at night, whatever it is. But I try to eat healthy for lunch at least because throughout the day, I don't want to feel sluggish or anything. And if you follow me on Instagram, you guys know that I love avocado toast. And not just any avocado toast. My avocado toast is so good. I've been eating it almost every day for like two years and I make it for everybody and they love it so and it only takes me like 10-15 minutes but I load it up with veggies I put mushrooms bell peppers and then for the avocado I do avocados chilies onions and hummus as well and then I put some sprouts from for added nutrients and top it off with some some balsamic it is delicious so good you need to try it and I, I use sourdough because sourdough is for, good for your gut. So that's what I like to start my days off in the morning. Or if I don't eat, um, eat a full meal, I'll have a smoothie and I have my golden milk smoothie or I'll get like a green juice. But I'll, my golden milk smoothie is also so amazing. I put coconut milk, uh, frozen pineapple, honey, turmeric, ginger, flaxseed, cinnamon, kefir if I have it. So many good things. And if I drink that in the mornings, oh, I feel amazing right after. So what you put into your body is what's going to make you feel good. When I eat out, even just like at restaurants, they use a lot of fats, a lot of oils, and that just drains my energy. It just makes me feel so sluggish. It gives me no energy. And yeah, feeling good is like my top priority because I cannot do anything if I don't feel my best. Okay, so I think that concludes my video for today. Let me know if you guys have any other questions and if you want me to explain anything I talked about a little more, um, I'd be happy to do so. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.